basically we want to try and create a lithium ion battery pack, a smallish one. Um, I've created one before. And the idea was to have at least a 12 volt normal socket and then a USB socket. And this one fortunately has a USB Quick Charge 3 and a USB C port as well. And it gives you DC volts. So there's a couple of components. Um, fortunately, I already had the components and we actually designed the box around the the components themselves. For example, a Victron um, MPPT solar controller. So this box will only be solar and it's really as a reserve box and as a box that we can put into the rooftop tent. Um, a Blue Nova Energy 11 amp hour battery, 12 volt battery. This is actually a standard size similar to a, a AGM battery as well. And then laser cut parts to build up the box. So we've also got these 3D printed spacers and the spaces are used inside the box to make sure that this doesn't bounce around. Um, and I'll show you guys how that fits in as we create that. And I've got one big switch in the front, the toggle switch. Um, this is a, a 15 amp toggle switch and should be enough for what we are trying to do. I've got a 15 amp fuse in here as well. And what this toggle switch is really going to do is just allow us to cut the battery off to everything. I like to keep a, a some kind of a battery cut off. So let's get started. So what we've got is we've got some sides and we've got some vents in as well. And these are purely just heat vents. So if it should heat up inside the box, um, sucks air in, pushes air out at the top. To do first is we will assemble the base of the box. So what I would normally do just to make it easier is you put the bolts in. What I normally do is I enter the nuts slightly on the, on the bolts. And then that allows you to locate the nuts in those areas. You can put the slots through and then you can tighten with your allen key wrench and we've gone for three mil aluminium or aluminum as our many american friends would th say you've got the one section of the base with the, the air vent i'm first going to install the victron MBPT controller. So to do that, I'll put in this section over here. And we can once again enter the bolt. We can use a little nut. The same on this side. And once again. So I haven't tried this before, so hopefully the spacers will fit because I had to draw these holes in the design earlier today. So the idea is to mount the Victron solar charge controller like so. And what I would suggest is I don't have a port to, to program the solar charge controller if you're going to go for the same one because the design of the box is, is based around that. Uh, there's a connector at the bottom here, and this allows you to upgrade this firmware on the charge controller. I prefer Victron. They got very good quality products. We're not at all sponsored by them. I've done a lot of reading on the products, and they're really good products. Done is I've assembled the box, the Charge controller is still a little bit loose. I'm going to tighten that later. I've got the 3D printed spacers. These, as I mentioned earlier, will hold the battery. So if you you can insert these in here, the battery will sit in in that aperture. Oh yeah. 
like that. So it holds it nice and tight. Once this is in, it can't move up and down. I've got some foam tape on the back of this, and that will compress it this side. And then when the front face is on, it will compress it on that side and hold the battery in safe and secure. And this is actually the back face that we've got. Let me do that quickly anyway. So I've got an XT60 connector. These are used in hobby electronics or remote control drones and other remote control vehicles. Um, it's nice and small and easy to mount. So I've got the aperture on here. It fits in neatly there. I had to search around for some tiny little screws. And there's the XT60 connector. Nice and neat and compact. Some devices like the EcoFlow um, Delta, in fact the EcoFlow uh, River, it also uses a, a charge port similar to this for solar and for, for other charging. For mounting the front switch, uh, what we did is we laser cut a little locating point over here. And that locates so it, it can't actually rotate inside there. The on off switch section also has a little tongue in there that can locate. And then you simply add on the large nut. And I probably should add some Loctite, but um, for the purposes of this, I'll just try and tighten it as much as possible with the Leatherman without damaging the aluminium. We can probably try and tighten it a little bit later as well. We can take this faceplate and that should use these cap screws as well. So what I've done um, so far is install the MPPT controller. I've connected up the front face plus the on-off switch, the inline fuse, and I've connected the inline fuse and both of the connections go to the outputs in the front. Next step will be to install the 3D printed spacers and the battery. So the battery is connected up. The 3D printed spacers are installed. Next would be to put the back face on with the XT60 connector. There we have the box. I've assembled all the, the parts. The battery is inside. The connections are connected up. I've spaced everything correctly inside. And that's what the battery box looks like from the back and in the front. Last bit is to install the actual cover and that clips in like that. See, I can see all the connections there. This is nice and tight. There should be no shorts anywhere there. Let's see if it works. So the Victron MPPT controller is acknowledging it. And on the little display in front, we can see the 13.1 volts. So it definitely needs a charge. I'd like to put some uh, feet underneath, some rubber feet. And that's it. Just for a little 
11 amp hour lithium iron box to use inside the tent, the rooftop tent, I think this is fine. It should fit nicely in the back or the sides or the front of the tent. Run some lights and, and things. Thanks for watching.